I've always said I'm not a baker, but even I can make this recipe and so can you. It's my homemade banana bread. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We show you recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips. Now we try and keep this all as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook and entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and get a new episode every single week. Today's episode is a real sweet treat. It's something that's perfect for breakfast or for an afternoon snack or even a dessert. It's my homemade banana bread. So let's get started. The first thing I did was I prepared my pan. I just used a nine by five loaf pan and I coated the sides and the bottom liberally with softened butter. And then I put a small piece of parchment paper on the bottom of the pan to keep the bread from sticking. And I've just set that aside for now. The next thing I did was I combined my dry ingredients. Now I took a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of fine salt. And I just sifted them together uh, and put them in a bowl aside. We'll get back to them. Now the most important part of this is the bananas. I have three very ripe bananas. You want to use as very, very ripe, even overripe, you know, once they start getting spots and a little brown on them. I've just mashed them up with a fork. I've done two and a half of them just so I can show you what I did. It's just this simple. Now I'm doing this with a fork because you get a better consistency. If I did this in my food processor, well, then I'd have to clean my food processor. And it really over-processes them and turns it just into liquid, and that's not what I want. All right, let's put this aside for a moment. The rest of the wet ingredients. Now I have butter in my mixing bowl, and it's softened. All of my ingredients I have at room temperature. We're going to combine this with the sugar, and that process is called creaming. So I have a cup of sugar. I'm just going to dump it in. Just like that. We're going to start this off kind of slow. Once it gets combined a little bit, I'll speed it up and I'm going to mix this together until it's really light and fluffy. Just takes a couple minutes. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this with a hand mixer too, or even by hand. All right, this is all mixed together. I'm going to turn this off for a moment. I'm gonna add in two eggs that I just beat up a little bit. Just pour them in. And then half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Now I'm just gonna combine this together just until it starts to combine. just that fast. Now it's starting to look a little scary, like it's curdled, but it's not, it's fine. The next step is the star of our show, the bananas. Now I like to do this on a paper plate so I can do this very easily. Shove it right in. Okay. One more little mix. Okay, now they're all nice and combined. Let's get rid of this. Now for the dry ingredients. I have in my bowl, here's my sifted dry ingredients, the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. I'm gonna take this off of the stand because we don't wanna use the mixer at this point. We're just going to combine this in, 
pour it all. And we're just going to fold it in with a spatula. Simple so far, right? Now you could at this point, if you wanted to, add about a half a cup of some sort of toasted nuts, usually walnuts. I'm not doing that today. A lot of people have issues with nuts, they have nut allergies, or they just don't like them. So I find I'm usually safe if I leave the nuts out. If I were making this just for me, I would put the nuts in, but since I'm gonna be sharing this later on tonight, We'll skip them this time. See how fast that came together. Just like that. Now we're just going to put it in the pan. Here is my prepared pan. You can see the parchment in the bottom and how well I've buttered it. And we're just going to pour this in. Scrape it all with your spatula. You want to get every last bit. If you see a little flour, I got mixed, missed. That's okay. All right. This is one of the easiest recipes I've ever made. And after I made it the first time, I thought, I'll never make it from a box again. And in 25 years, I haven't. All right, we'll just smooth it out a bit. Impeccably clean hands. All right, now we are ready for the oven. This is going to go into an oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees. It's gonna be in there for 50 to 55 minutes. All depends on your oven. Now, when I've made these before in my oven, I know it only takes about 50 minutes. How do I know that? I can smell it. When you start to smell the banana bread, it's getting close. But plan on 50 to 55 minutes. So off to the ovens. Alrighty, here we are. We are out of the oven. Now this baked for, like I said, about 50 minutes in my oven. And I just ran my knife around the edge of the pan after letting it cool for a good five minutes. You gotta let it cool first. Got it out of the pan, took the parchment off the bottom so you didn't stick. And now I just let it cool for about an hour because if you cut it when it was hot, it might start to crumble. So let's get into the most important part, the tasting. I'm gonna cut off a couple slices. I like the end slice. It has a little bit of a crust to it. All the sugars caramelize, make it delicious. But you can see as you cut into it, look how light and wonderful and moist that looks. So let's try this end piece. Mmm, I love it. Just love this. Perfectly moist, just the right amount of sweetness, and lots of banana. Now this is great with a little cream cheese or just plain. Make some great breakfast or a dessert or even just a snack. Mm. And it goes great with a cup of coffee. So that is my homemade banana bread. I hope you'll make it. So as always, I'll have this recipe up online on YouTube like we always do. And keep writing us in on Facebook too. We love hearing from you all. Send us your pictures. And, and ask your questions because we love answering questions. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. when we invite you again to come over and come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers.